Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. It's the bro Vajaraya from the GMS Italia camp, and I'm here with another one. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rukha Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered around the four corners of the earth, risking their lives in these last days to push this truth. And Shalom also unto the few aquats and those who are sincerely seeking this truth. Shalom. Yeah, I just thought I should do a quick lesson regarding the incident that happened yesterday when we went out to, to camp. Okay. So I'm just going to play a few parts of the video. So we were actually here teaching when an Edomite, a so-called devil, you know, walked up, walked up to us, you know. So he walked up to us with the spirit of like, you know, he wanted to like listen to what we were saying. But, you know, as it was coming closer, you know, I could feel, I could feel the energy was coming with and, you know, the spirit was heavy on me to start rebuking him and letting him. So let's just go through the video and explain little by little. Allora, sa che i veri israeliti, i veri israeliti sono i così chiamati negri, nativi americani e i latini. Sa che il così uomo bianco. So as it came, you know, he, he was on the other side of the camera asking what are you people teaching about. So I quickly just told him that. Do you know that the so-called Israel, the Israelites are the so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and the and the Latinos, you know? And I told him that does he know that the so-called white man who is ruling the earth today is the devil? So as you can see, he's kind of nodding his head like, uh, and once an Italian start nodding their head like that, you know, he's not, he's not in agreement with what you're saying. So here we have the blue letter Bible, you know, to just pick out some quick precepts, you know. So Israel, as we know, is scattered all through the whole four corners of the earth. So we have a lot of precepts on this, but I'll just go with a few. This is the book of Ezekiel. 36 19 the book of Ezekiel 36 19 quotes and I scattered them among the hidden and they were dispersed through the countries according to their way and according to their doings I judged them so we are scattered among all different nations and countries because we we left our power whose name is Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai and we started going after all different kinds of strange gods of other nations we forgot and we and we we rebuked we forgot we left the statutes and commandments which is a manual on how to live how to be in harmony with the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and the rest of the creation and we went a warring among all other nation you know this is Jake. This is classic of Jake. So the Most High punished us and scattered us to the rest of all other nations. But we have the promise that he's going to gather us back. Let's get the book of Isaiah. 11, 12. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 11 verse 12. And he shall set up an ensign for the nations. And shall assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. So the Most High is going to set up an ensign. Now let's go through the root word of that ensign. It goes to standard, ensign, pole, banner, sail, sign. Something lifted up, standard, a signal. A pole and a sign, a banner, a standard, as rallying point, signal, standard. 
so the world is actually a standard okay the most High is going to raise up a standard you know and gather back all the outcasts of israel who've been scattered as i said earlier is going to gather us back okay and bring us back to the land he has promised to our fathers so this is the book of jeremiah 29 verse 14 i'm just trying i'm just trying to make this really quick because i don't want this video to be too long i noticed if my videos are long you know people don't people find it hard to watch and i can understand a lot of you know teachings on the internet you know the truth is actually flowing like streams of water it's, it's been it's been um prophesized you know the water um the, the truth is really flowing you know heavily and we know that the time is coming in which the Most High is going to still take this truth away, according to the book of Amos 8.11, if I'm not mistaken. This is the book of Jeremiah 29.14. And I will be found of you, said Yahweh power, and I will turn away your captivity, and I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places where I have driven you, said Yahweh. And I will bring you again into the place whence I caused you to be carried away captive. So we are being promised, you know, that we will be we'll be taken back. Okay, so this is the promise that we are actually waiting for. So, oh, ye sons of Yashar Allah, you need to, you know, wake up, return to the laws and commandments, you know, because before going into this, it is either, you know, your heart is straight with the most high and you'll be saved and beamed up by the chariots the so-called ufos okay or you pay with your life you know you have to die here you know with through the fire that are going to come out from the from 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 the from the nuclear bombs you know which the most High has also created and the lasers that are coming down from the chariots okay in order for you to be a part of the kingdom to come Okay, so that's why, you know, the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahusha is to be feared. Okay, so this is the book of, uh, I'm just going to read one more regarding this and go on. Excuse me. Oops. I'm sorry, I just had a call, but I'm not going to pick the call. Um, it's going to take away the music, but it's okay. We can continue. So, as I was saying, um, I'm going to get one more scripture, and it's going to be the book of Jeremiah, chapter 31, Jeremiah 31, 8, and it quotes, Behold, I will bring them from the north, okay, I'll bring them from the north country, and this north country represents you know babylon the great the united states okay that's where most of our brothers are actually you know concentrated so and gather them from the coasts of the earth okay and with them the blind and the lame the woman with child and her that travelleth with child together a great company shall return thither okay so this is actually talking about the one third of the house of israel that is going to be saved okay including also the 144,000 choice elect of which we are praying the most high counts us amongst that number okay so let's go back to the video Eh sì, questa è la verità che noi stiamo insegnando, perché è la verità, la verità è venuto fuori, così chiamato uomo bianco, il regno romani sono figli di satana So here I was trying to, you know test the spirit you know i told him that the so-called white man is the devil the romans are the devils you know and once you say such to someone if the spirit is actually on that person you know the person is humble enough to accept even regardless what it looks like you know we've said this to many israelites that looks like the so-called edomites and when you tell them they tell you oh, i'm um, I really agree with you and I know that truly the white man has done only evil, you know. And those people, you know, probably they have the spirit of Jake, you know. Probably they could be Jake. There is a huge percentage they are Jakes. But the way this man is actually acting, you can see he's actually from the line of the devil, you know. So, you know, I came up with, you know, the Edom stuff. Okay. 
tutta la, lord, tutta la terra che hanno conquistato fino ad oggi l'hanno fatto spargendo sangue innocenti hanno lutato hanno rubato e hanno fatto mis- miseria ok e così chiamato Gesù so I was trying to explain to him that you know the so-called white man you know all the land he has inherited today he has done that by killing destroying other people you know spurging blood and um and lying you know so here you have the book of um the book of um Job this is a classic this is the book of Job 9.24. It quotes, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. It covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? You know? So this is what Esau has actually been doing from time immemorial ever since he started like going into power. Most especially in the time of the Renaissance, you know, which is towards the ending of the um, 1300, you know. So he got into power and finally he started changing the images of the true saints, of the real judges who are Jake's so called black, Negro, okay, the so called Hispanics, the so called Latino, okay, these were the people ruling the earth, okay. So he started putting his likeness and you can find, you know, uh, 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 you can find such that story also on in the book of, um, I think, First Maccabees, if it's not chapter 2 or chapter 1. Okay, someone can put it in the comment board. So this is what Esau has always done, you know. So the reason why we call this man is de- a devil is I don't really want to make this video really long. So he went on, you know, but when he couldn't handle the heat anymore, I was just going into history and different stuffs, you know. So he started coming up with stuffs like, um, but the white man brought civilization, you know. So I was like, I told him, hey, the white man never brought civilization, you know. We should. I, I reminded him about the Moors, okay, the so-called Moors, who are actually the sons of Israel. Who ruled over Egypt, um, who ruled over um, Europe for more than a thousand years? You know, they are the people that actually brought civilization to the white man. The white man was actually, you know, living in his caves and, you know, he was dirty. He wouldn't brush his teeth. He wouldn't take showers. You know, these people brought astronomy, brought science and medicine. The white people would die, you know, due to diseases that they could they could simply cure with lemon and lime. You know. So this this is actually a fact, you know. I just don't want to go into different researches. And the funny thing is, you know, Esau will tell you that he knows only he, he knows little or nothing about this time, this time period. But he can tell you what the dinosaur had five hundred million years ago, you know, with all this bullshit, you know. So another scripture Proverb. 29 which is a classic also through this we know people that are truly in power you know it's quotes when the righteous are in authority the people rejoice but when the wicked bear its rule the people mourn okay now we are all being you know we are, we are all we are all living in pain you know too much taxes you know we have to you know walk in the plantation work our our lives out in the plantation for pennies you know everyone is complaining there is nothing going good every year you know they increase the years in which people will go on pension every year things get more expensive life the life 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 what's nothing in this kingdom right now man so now we know that the wicked are actually in power you know so when the most high puts everything in its right order when it destroys this wicked and it takes the sons of israel and it puts them back as the administrators of this planet of all things you know as he has given to us from the beginning you know everything will be okay the people will rejoice you know even the, the lowest of the society would rejoice man it will be beautiful everyone will be happy you know so let's go on Imagine i'm going to move it forward a bit because you know so I want to stop putting it from the point when it started getting heated. 
dire nel 70 dopo, dopo la morte di Cristo a casa nostra a, a, a uccidere a, 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 a rapinare le donne a portare via lei sa che il primo Colosseo so here I was trying to explain to him that the white man has always only stolen killed you know from other civilizations and taken their places you know and um, I was telling them about what they did in 70 AD in Jerusalem that's got you know the Israelites the Israelites dispersed so you know this is one scripture that you can use to you know let people know that you know the devil this is just the description of the devil you know so-called devil which is the so-called white man Esau John 10 verse 10 this is the book of John chapter 10 verse 10 the thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy okay now tell me who this really fits this is what the so-called white man has only done in all of his history all of his past history he has only stolen killed and destroyed okay this is what the white man does you know the white man will come to your country and see a civilization see people kills your people and tells a new story that he discovered your land okay it's only the white man that does that shit man you know and they're going to pay for all these things that they've been doing you know and let's move it forward so you know the fire started burning him so much that he couldn't take the heat anymore and he told it he started he started saying things like you know um what about the the so-called um missionaries that are in africa feeding people you know so i had to go into the, a little of that history to to cut him so you can go watch the world the rest of the, the world of the video but i'm just going to you know make a few commentaries on this you know so i told him that you know those people are not the real saints the real saints are actually the sons of israel that's the book of um it says psalms chapter 50 verse 5 if i'm not mistaken or 55 you know so you know <laughs> the white man is trying to run all, all around the place you know trying to you know claim what he's not actually so this is the book of um first corinthians chapter 3 verse 19 This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 19. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with Yahweh power. For it is written, he taketh the wise in his own craftiness. So the reason why I'm reading this verse is because the man started telling me that, you know, the missionaries are bringing peace to Africa, you know. They, they, they came up with inventions and stops, you know. So I told him that the, the white man never invented never you know it was it wasn't the one that invented most of the major um inventions that we have you know so you know the white man believes you know he's more more advanced than 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 we the sons of israel you know he, he calls himself the the, the 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 aryan race the intelligent race that was what the man was trying to bring out you know so for the wisdom of this world is foolishness with your all power for it is written it take it the wise in his own craftiness you know everything that he saw comes out with most of his knowledge and everything is all bullshit you know they wouldn't take you to any solid end you know so here is a little bit of um things that you know you have jake's invent jake's actually invented the anchor air conditioning units you know the auto off switch you know cutting electric lamp bulb egg beater and you know jake actually invented the elevator the eye protector the fire escape ladder but they would never speak about all these things these were things that jake actually invented invented okay and there are many more that jake invented that he can't even put because they they, they kill them you know they wouldn't let you bring out anything so I also told him that, you know, look at the internet that you, 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 you have today, you know, it was invented by, by a so-called black man, you know, it was invented by a Nigeria, a Nigerian, you know, invented, you know, the, I believe the, the smartest computers, you know, the, the web, but 
when you go on 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 internet to search these out esau esau decodes everything and and doesn't want people to know you know so the man was coming so sleeky trying to you know you know bring out achievements of the so-called white man so we were cutting him you know and letting him know that yo <laughs> the white man never invented shit man invented some things yeah but many stole from the from so-called blacks you know you know because we are actually the salt of the earth you know now let's get one more scripture this is the book of john 8 and 44 he quotes ye are of your father the devil the lust of your father ye will do he was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him when he speaketh a lie he speaketh of his own for he is a liar and the father of it that is exactly what this man is you know and that is exactly what the so-called white man the, the sons of esau that's what they are actually they are liars you know their father is the devil the lust of their father that's what they will do he was a murderer from the beginning he goes to people's land he murders them and he takes their land he takes their culture he takes everything even their identity what a base man man and abode not in the truth you know you can't reason any truth with these people you know trying to put some you know basic that's why i'm saying you know the spirit really matters you know there are so many jakes that looks like him you know but once you start telling them this fact you know their conscience lets them know that yeah what you're saying is true what you're saying is true the highest it might say is but you know we are not all the same then once it starts saying that you know the the the, the 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 teaching changes you know but this man was actually standing there you know trying to support you know everything that you know um he was trying to support the white man and bring points and points so it got to a point that he couldn't stand it anymore you know <laughs> he saw that we were actually we had the spirit on us and you know he couldn't he couldn't tell us things that we don't know or things that we can't back up you know so he decided to tell us that you know he was going to call the police on us that we can't say this that if the police hears us you know we might get arrested we might have problems with the police and stuff like that you know but we told him we don't really care man we don't care we know this is the book of matthew chapter 10 verse 28 The book of Matthew chapter 10, 28 quotes, And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Okay, so we fear the most high Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know. We don't fear what these people can do to us, you know. We know they can only they can only kill our body, but we know we rather fear who he who can kill our body and our soul and destroy us, man, you know so this white man has nothing over us you know the so-called devil has nothing over us what he was trying to do was to intimidate us as they usually always do when they see the so-called negroes at their front you know they try to intimidate and use their their so-called power because they're actually the rulers of this kingdom right now you know but guess what while he was going you know we caught him so much and i gave him the last scripture I rebuked him, I told him to leave, and you know, this is the last scripture I gave him. I actually quoted it in Italian. So I told him, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 10. It quotes, He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword here is the patience and the fate of the saints yes this is our patience and this is our fate man this is where all our faith is based you know this is what we're waiting for this is true justice we know that this so-called white man is an edomite by the spirits and once we told him that that he's going back into 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 captivity he got he actually got mad and he started saying that we were going to die of hunger I was like, don't worry, in the kingdom you die of hunger because you're also going into captivity. <laughs> and it was really, 
it was really funny and interesting but he, you know everything we were just telling him was just burning him and it was you know he, he, he was crazy man he he wished he could shoot me at that moment you know but the most that you have about shame you how shy wouldn't permit him you know so yeah this is an example of the devil you know they have no truth in them even when you try to tell them the truth you know it doesn't resound with their spirit it doesn't resound with their soul you know because they have no truth in them and these so-called devils are going into captivity because they've taken us captives all this while they shall go into captivity and pay fully for what they've done they've killed us with the sword yes they are also going to be killed with the sword they cannot escape it it doesn't matter everything they do it doesn't matter whatever they invent man Esau is not escaping this you know and Kalalal, Yehovah, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashem, Ruka, Kodash, we're seeing all these signs are coming so really fast. And we know that the day is near. I'm going to stop here. I hope this lesson was edifying. If you really want to watch more of the video, that's the last video I posted on my page. You know, and I hope this is edifying. I would like to give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashem, Ruka, Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth. On to the next one. Shalom.